Bar Group, raising the bar in real estate. Your Lake Highlands, Lakewood, Preston Hollow Pros. You can find them at thebargroup.com. Unparalleled customer service for your real estate needs. The Bar Group. I'm going to hit start recording right now. Okay? Let's do it. Coming through. We have a special guest today. I'm very impressed by this individual because this individual is starting a Dallas pickleball club. And with several, as you may know, my first impressions stink. And my second. <laughs> they do. And that's the truth. And my man over there will admit to that. But uh, I'm glad you're here. She is beginning a uh, the Dallas pickleball club here located in Dallas. And she's uh, just talking to uh, hopefully a future vendor of ours. Uh, DFW No Pickleball, uh-huh. but she'll she'll tell us all about her, and let's see the name, the camera's on you, talk to us, tell us your name and who you are. Where do I look? Oh, here. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I started Dallas Pickleball Club uh, over a year ago, I guess right out about a year ago now, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, Dallas, Dallas cool. born and bred, and mm-hmm. obsessed with pickleball just like everybody else it feels like. So, so, so we'll go into the way of pickleball, how, what, where, when, why. Okay. Why did you choose the lovely sport of pickleball? Do you have like, yeah, tell us. Also, I was going to tell you, I love your intro music. I was just, I was vibing there for a second. <laughs> now, what, what, the way of pickleball, thank you. The way of pickleball, what, where, when, why? Um, so I started playing spring of last year, the uh-huh. spring of 2022. Where was that at? And I was just hopping around uh-huh. these Dallas neighborhood <laughs> courts. I hadn't even gone to Cole yet. I was still just these little, you know, taped tennis courts, oh. temporary nets, and absolutely loved it. I didn't grow up playing tennis. I saw, like, that was some of your questions. I don't have a tennis background. No, no, no. I grew up playing, like, every sport you can think of, mm-hmm. but I was never really that great at any of them. I was a theater kid, and so when I started playing pickleball, I, like, got decently good at it so (laughs) I was addicted my roommate and I played with friends Mm -hmm. literally every day there for (laughs) a few months we were obsessed and you know we loved how many calories we were burning we were like looking into what new paddle to get all the things and obviously trying to find places to play Mm -hmm. and I don't know if you know this but Dallas has a league for everything like cornhole (laughs) flag football (laughs) dodgeball they have uh, a rugby league too. Did you know pong. that? Yeah, they like they're Dallas literally, <laughs> if it's a sport, table tennis, disc golf, like anything you can think of. And there was not a pickleball league. And I went and I found a couple leagues um, that were more, <coughs> I guess I'd say like geared towards fifty plus age group, and then also like morning ladder leagues mm-hmm. or round robin. So there wasn't really anything where you could like join a team with the same team for weeks Mm -hmm. and there also wasn't anything that worked for my schedule at the time around the same age group you know a lot of times people do this to like meet friends meet their potential partner so um i went to samuel grand tennis center at the time Mm -hmm. i was i still live in east dallas and they were like yeah come on so (laughs) we used their temper they have line tennis courts Um, we used eight courts we had 60 people for the first fall season And then I started an Instagram just to be able to, like, send out schedules, send out the rankings. Um, we started doing some merch. And then we had 300 people this last spring. Oh, wow. And fall is going to start end of September. So this will be our third season. And I think I'm going to have to cap it at, like, 450, 500 people. But with subs and everyone coming out, we I wouldn't be surprised if we have about 600 people yeah. this season. So. So you started it, <coughs> and uh, tell us your last name, because you just said your first name. Taylor Mason. You said Taylor. It's got to be a last name. You're not like Cher. Or well, Taylor Mason is Beyonce two boy first names, and I have this thing, <laughs> because when I was in college, I was always, even still to this day, people will message me Mr. Mason. People oh. just assume I'm a dude. <laughs> and then there's like Taylor Mason that's on um, a show, Billions. Yeah. And then there's another comedian. <laughs> so like, I just, honestly, I don't love Taylor Mason. She's just she's she's a theater standout, and now she she has a, you know, she, her stage name is Taylor Mason. Yeah, 
Yeah. People just call me Tay. Tay. I get tea money. <laughs> Tay Tay. I get all the, all the things. <laughs> well, that's good. So real quick, um, uh, welcome to the show. I'm Curtis Reese. And uh, please subscribe to uh, the Pickleball Show with Curtis Reese on YouTube. I know Taylor has, and I've seen her because we watch. Yes. And so, not really. But Rob uh, has informed me that we need to make sure we get followers and subscribers. Tell us what you do and don't like. Thank you. So going back to the way of pickleball. Oh, I lost it that's all right. Going back to the way of pickleball. Yeah. You you uh you said that um, you started at Cold Park and you bounced around East Dallas. So we'll move to the next part of the segment. Uh, what type? What's your favorite type of paddle? It doesn't matter. Do you like a lot? Or do you have anything that's coming your way? Or what do you think? What do you think you like to use? So to be honest, I really haven't invested in paddles mm -hmm. i had a diadem that was given to me for free to yeah. you know play test influence with um last spring play test. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um and then i uh i work a lot with proper i was telling you a little bit proper. about them but they're a local yeah. dallas company and they're growing and expanding and they um, had an intro paddle that I play with. I actually love the you more have, beginner paddles. I don't have a paddle with me. Uh, you don't name drop anybody God. at, uh, at uh, what's, what's the name of the place again? Yeah, it's Proper, Proper. Pickle Co. Mm -hmm. um, they do paddles and apparel. It's Kevin and Cole. Cool. They're two partners. They actually, I'll let them come on here one day and tell their story, but they started playing hockey together <laughs> and both got into pickleball. <laughs> and, cool. um, yeah, they, they're really cool guys, so they've sponsored a ton of our leagues and events, and they give out paddles for prizes, and I've had a really good experience playing with their paddles, not just because they support us, but I actually genuinely <laughs> like their paddle. They're working on some more performance-based ones, too. Um, I've played around with everything. You know, I've played yeah. with a Selkirk. Sure. I've played with, you know, sure. all the fun brands, but yeah. I don't I'm, – I'm not a paddle expert. Yeah, no – I mean, I'm not either, but I remember when I first started this journey in 2018, I, I was with Wilson. I don't remember any of that. I think I first played with, like, the Amazon ones <laughs> with the blue <laughs> lightning bolt. That's That was my first battle. I didn't even know, and, and to me it was just kind of like, oh, it's good, it's good. Yeah, I don't care what it is. And then you, more, you hit more and more yeah. balls, and you start softening up, and you start getting a little better. Yeah. And then, boom, next thing you know, stuff's coming off. But then I've, I've – I've, I've the point is I've tried all the levels like you. And sure. You're in a position similar to mine, where you just kind of, you know, promote what's good and yeah. and, and you know just focus on what what you like. And you totally. Have to do that. Especially being the president of that Dallas Pickleball Club, which is amazing. Thanks. And you said you started with, um, like, a hundred, two hundred people. Now you're at four, four or five hundred. We had sixty people oh. in the fall of last year. Uh -huh. Six zero. We had ten. So our format is a little different too. We have teams of four to six players. Yeah, tell us about it. So each team. Um, you could have two male, two female, or you could have three male, three female, or you could have a mix. Um, and then each match you'll play three different games. You'll play a mixed doubles, a women's doubles, and a men's doubles. And so, yeah, we had, we had 10 teams total in the fall. And then this last spring we had, uh, we had 24 or 28 teams in one league. And then we had 10 in another. So yeah. we had like 38 teams with six people. We had subs. So, yeah, it, w it went from, like, 60 to 300, and I think we'll go from, like, 300 to 600. And, I mean, that that's just a testament to the sport. You know, we get all these questions about, is pickleball really going to keep growing and stick around and all the fun mm. things, but... Just say no. <laughs> well, and my whole thing is, like, you, like, Cole Park, for example. Yeah. Like, you show up a few weeks, you see the same people, and then, like, one week you show up, and every single person there is brand new. You've never seen them before. And that's also is just a testament to it's continuing yeah. to grow. We just opened fall league registration yeah. last T tell Thursday. Us about that. Tell us about that. Um, but yeah, so what I was going to say real quick with that oh, is that um, I would say we've already had like 50 to 60 percent like new members, people wow. that didn't play in our Fun leagues. people. So yeah, it's just you're, you're, you're constantly growing. Um, but yeah, Fall League is going to be a 10-week season. Mm -hmm. We do eight weeks of regular play, and then we do two weeks of playoffs. So it's ran really similar to like a Dallas social mm -hmm. league, like for football like, or another sport. Yeah, yeah. So it's called the Dallas Racquet Club, mm -hmm. which has been around since the 80s, which, which is similar. You know, yeah. What you're doing. It's great. Keep going with it. Thanks. 
Yeah, and like TCB, mm-hmm. I know they do tons of stuff. Sponsor of the show, TCB. Thank <laughs> you, Mary Moore. Yeah. Um. So we do ten weeks, and then I think where our format's a little different is we're pretty strict about the teams. You can't have any less than four. You can't have any more than six. And then you have to have, um, you know, What's your the your three your three games. So you play two matches a night. Different teams for those entire eight weeks. So you don't play the same team twice. Okay. And um, you win essentially one point towards your season ranking mm. for every game that you win. Mm. So you play three games within each match. Um, we do, you know, two 11 points, one by two, or a 30-minute time limit if we've got some <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> people taking a little too long. Uh, we'll cut you <laughs> off because we got to keep going. Um <laughs> And then, yeah, the last two weeks we do playoffs, yeah. and so you'll start with your just yeah. typical what do you do bracket. So um, we had our fall league at Samuel Grand, and then last year we expanded to both Samuel Grand and Freck's, and then this fall we're going to be at Hackberry Creek Country oh, Club. Oh, yeah, man. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, we moved over there. It's a little further out of Dallas, but honestly, like, Been Samuel early. Grand is east, east Dallas, so if you live in this area – you know, we're kind of like Addison Farmers Branch, Northwest Dallas. Yeah. Hackberry's way closer for you than Samuel Grand was, yeah. anyway. So, um, we're just working with what we've got right now, and they've got a beautiful facility of mm-hmm. sixteen outdoor courts, That's great. and yeah. they're all dedicated courts. Thank God, no Wait, temporary nets. They have, yeah. Well, you know, when I first started doing this, I had to uh, put lines down. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, 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 there was one place I was at where I, I. Um, I was informed it was me by myself to put down eight lines, and wow. I did it. I did it several times, and that's fine. But I had a I had the director of pickleball from High Point, High Point on Tammy Patis. Uh, I think she played at Florida. She hasn't done the show yet, but she uh, has a name for me. Kay. You know what they call people who uh, put nets down? No, I don't know the official name. Net fairies. Net fairies. So you were a net fairy. We love so net were you. fairies. You're a net fairy. I'm, I'm a retired net fairy. I'm not a net fairy. <laughs> I didn't do any of that, honestly. I am I am not uh, picky about where I play. I know. Like I'll play anywhere yeah. right now. Um, but it makes such a difference being on dedicated a courts. dedicated court yeah. with a permanent net and not the roll away. Yeah. It's I mean I felt so bad sometimes. Like even playoff games where like something would happen to the net in the middle of a game. Like oh. it just it it does affect your play. And then some of these places we were playing at too. You have your tennis lines, and then you have your junior tennis lines. And then, you know, by the time you add pickleball, it looks like a puckered. It's like an ADHD yeah. brain, my brain, ADHD yeah, brain. Yeah, I know. So going back to playing now, so what is your, um, do you have a uh, favorite uh, style, singles, doubles, mixed? You like all of them? Does it matter? I mean, I don't like singles. I didn't maybe 10 years ago I would have, but not anymore. <laughs> But uh, what what do you like? I hate singles. Okay. You'll never find me playing in singles unless I just really want some extra cardio for the day. But <laughs> that's usually not me. Um, what do you like about doubles or mixed doubles? I love that? playing. Uh, actually, I love playing doubles, and it doesn't have to be mixed or women's. But I enjoy playing yeah. with a female yeah. uh, partner. I don't know. I just. Like, I have a couple really close friends that I play with more consistently, and I play with guys and girls, and I feel like when I play with the women, yeah. we just have a little bit better sure. chemistry, yeah. and you feel a little bit more, like, badass if you beat two guys. Girl like, pile of bitches. There's definitely, <laughs> it's just like, and that's the other thing about this sport that's so cool, is, like, it's so gender inclusive. Mm-hmm. Like, I've gone out to Cole Park and played, you know, me and a female partner against two guys, and one like yeah. you know 11 to 2 or something so i think that that's really special and fun um i don't really have a like favorite shot or a favorite, favorite shot? play i used to be terrified to even like go up to the kitchen <laughs> and now i like love being up there <laughs> love love just dinking back and forth yeah. um so yeah yeah i i just i enjoy going out with my friends and i enjoy playing new people and all that good stuff um so, going back to the to the uh, so so far, do you have like a favorite memory, like a favorite place you played, or a favorite um, match, or what? Oh yeah, what's a good favorite? Oh my match gosh, that so you, many. That you, I know there's so many, but recently that you can tell our listeners and, and I'd the, uh, say watchers. Yeah, no, that's a great question. Uh, 
obviously I've seen a lot of matches in the leagues and just other events I've been at. I think my favorite, though, and if anyone that I know is listening, they already know what I'm probably going to say. But um, so I sponsored a couple players at the Texas Open. Who? Um, no pros. Oh. I sponsored amateurs that's, that no, played that's still a pro, dude. in the yeah. Le- well, yeah, I mean, so we had I had players playing in the three zero, the three five, the four zero, and the four five, like literally every level. And um, there was actually a couple guys who um, they were playing in the four five. Mm-hmm. They had won um, their first match and then lost their second, and they were in the back draw for the the rest of the tournament. Yeah. Made their way back up to the gold wow. medal match. Uh-huh. And, you know, these tournaments take forever. <laughs> and so I barely knew these guys at the time. And I stayed the whole event. Like, I just, I was, I was glued. Like, I was ready to just watch them take it home. And so uh, it was a four or five um, gold medal match. Who was and it? Um, I don't know their opponent's names. Who were those opponents? Um, and now I, they're going to – I feel so bad. One right. of them is Grant, and I think the other one is, like, Chad or Craig. I, I right. feel so bad. I don't know their names. Right. Um, there's so many people. I but know there's a lot. You, man, what you've been doing, you've done a lot. I, 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 you I'm know, I feel like I'm actually purpose. pretty good with names most of the time. I don't know these guys super well. Like, I know them enough to, like, say hi on the courts, but, like, they're way better than me. I certainly are can't play 4-5. Yeah. They're here, and they are um, – they're incredible players. Like you can find them on the challenge court at Cole probably. Right. Um, but yeah, so we stayed and they actually, so in, when you're in the back draw and you come back for a medal match at the PPA, you have to play best two out of three and then you have to still win a wow. set to 15. Wow. So they won the two out of three mm. and they were like really good games. Mm. And then they lost the one to 15 set, uh, 15 to 13 oh. I know it was it was gruesome but oh, that God. was it was just so good I was sitting next to one of their moms actually and like we were just everyone was like just really and that was a cool too because it was like all Dallas local people that all play together was that was that the last Texas Open last November no it was uh this last June oh at Oasis. I was supposed to be there at that yeah they're another part of the show thank you Oasis, so yeah, yeah. we so love Oasis. Um, I wish you guys were a little closer to me, but love. I mean, beautiful Dean facility. Dean Click is the man, and so is Darren. Yeah. Darren. I talked to Darren Rack about this. He I likes to talk about Boston, but yeah. I uh, did listen to that episode. He's funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that was probably just one of the best. And then actually, uh, I think it was Pickleball Will from Pickleball Studio Podcast. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. came up during the match Aww. and was like, "Who are these guys?" Exactly. He like w- he thought everyone was really good. And we told him, and he was like, this is the worst sandbagging I've ever seen. Like, these guys are really good. I know. Um, so it was cool that he even, like, noticed. And he actually talked about it on his one of his episodes, uh, recapping the Texas What's his Open. name? What's his name? Pickleball Will. Pickleball Will, okay. Yeah, he's Will got a... Will or Will? W-E-L-L? W-I-L-L. W-I-L-L. Okay, Will. Yeah. All right, so that sounds good. So uh, let's do a quick uh, quick little uh, history of Taylor Mason. Where, where, where are you from? Where you got family? What, what's uh, where's where are you from? The president of Dallas Pickleball Club uh, just joined um, at the You're end. Making of Making me sound so official. At the <laughs> shut up. <laughs> at the end of the interview, sh- we'll, we'll give you your deets. So okay, tell us about you. Honestly, I don't. I I don't feel like it's that interesting. I, it's like every other twenty something year old girl in Dallas. I grew up in Richardson. Went to a small private school that's now closed. Um, in Canyon Creek. I lived right behind there. Yeah, Custer and Renner right yep. there. It's now like a Seventh Day Adventist yeah. school or something. But um, I think it's Canyon Creek. It right? was a Christian, yeah, Baptist yeah. church, Christian yeah. academy. I graduated with forty nine kids, mm. and we were the largest class to ever go through the school, mm. and it shut down a few d- years later. So, grew okay. up. That's my roots, and then went to Arkansas for college. Oh, nice. And then came back and have been in Dallas ever since. That's cool. Suey, uh, Suey Pig, did you, still, you, did you watch the game this past Woo week? Pig. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's Woo Pig Suey. I didn't watch the game because we were playing Kent Told you State. That game. But I did um, <laughs> I did see that we won. I did watch the Cowboys game last night, and oh. I was very happy about that. There you go. So now let's go into the kitchen, shall we? Let's go into the, the kitchen. The kitchen is where we talk about uh, fun stuff, cool stuff, great stuff, bad stuff, good stuff. 
all the great stuff that confuses people and makes them understand who you are, what, what makes you tick. So, uh, let's start with your favorite band. My favorite song right now, on the way in, I was listening to a band called Hole with Courtney Love, and I did not like them in the 90s that much, but I listened to Sludge Skin, awesome album. What mm. you got? What are you jamming on the way here from Starbucks? I don't know what any of that is. Shut up. Oh, yeah, I did have a meeting at Starbucks after this. Um, uh, can we get spiritual for a second? Do whatever you want to do, man. It's I, this is going to, people are got probably going to think I sound so cheesy for this, but yeah. it's real. I have been listening to worship music mm -hmm. more this last year than I ever, I mean, before you that. catch me listening to like Chris Brown or like the most like gangster rap, that was like what I listened to. Mm -hmm. But now if I'm in the car or mm -hmm. if I'm with my friends, like we might be listening to country yeah. or, you know, I, I have my favorite artists, Wild Rivers, great band. But um, like even on the way over here, I just think that there is something to listening to music that actually is positive yeah. and it keeps you you know, with the right yes. perspective, gratitude. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that's honestly what I listen to the most. <laughs> that's nothing wrong with that. There's no right or wrong. It's your story. Yeah. It's, no, it's not mine. It's yeah, not no. And it, I, I definitely believe there's even like some science to it of yeah. just, you know, what you put into your mind and your thoughts mm -hmm. is what ends up coming out. And so yeah. depending on the type of person that you want to be. And so, yeah, it's been, cool. it's been really helpful for me. All right. Thanks. Now we're going to go to movies. Movies. Ugh. You've oh. probably never seen this movie, but it's awesome. It's called Blazing Saddles. This is just your favorite movie? One of them. It's one of okay. my favorite ones I've watched recently. Cause I, mean, I can't laugh because of this because it hurts, but so I can't watch it now. But it's got it's, it's done by Mel Brooks okay. back in the early 70s. It's got yeah. a lot of funny stuff in it. Uh, that and um, I've been watching The Hunters on Amazon Prime. It's pretty cool. It's Al Pacino. Is that a show or that's yeah, a movie? It's, it's okay, a show. so I can do favorite show or movie. You can do both. What the hell you want to do? Great. So do favorite both. movie of all time both, is yeah. Bruce Almighty. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Carrey. Um, love Jim Carrey. Yeah. Have a very soft spot for him. Exactly. Um, I just think he's great. Cool. So Bruce Almighty. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big movie quote person. Yeah, all my yeah. friends think I'm like so crazy because I actually I've never seen like. Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. Like I don't watch a lot of those. Harry Potter I never got into. Kennedy's People are going to cancel I'm me, kidding. I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but Jim Carrey, I can probably What about a series? You've watched a binge watching a series? Suits. I've been watching Suits on Netflix. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, and like it's that. it's intense. It's like it's really good. I'm a, I'm a little bit more drawn to like action yeah, and like I can see that. reality like just cool stuff than I am just comedy, yep. but I'm very serious. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Suits is a good one. Can't be. You got to be. I'll watch some Love Island every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's go to uh, the next question. Would be um, okay. I'm a dog lover. We, my wife and I, yeah. our sons, we have a Labradoodle named Chief, and, oh. and he is blonde, green eyes like my wife. And then, and my my son, oldest son, Garner, he's six foot three. He's gonna kill me saying that, but whatever. And um, and then um. Little El Havanese named, named Gustavo. We call oh, him Gustavo. Gustavo. Yeah, yeah, we got, so we got two little dogs. Those are our babies. You got any uh, animals? I pets? definitely have two little babies. I have Chewy and Grace. <laughs> and Chewy is more of the puppy. What kind of dog is he? Four years old now. What kind of dog? He is a Catahoula Pitbull mix. <laughs> so uh, if you don't know what a Catahoula is, uh -uh. it's the Louisiana hunting dog. Oh. I didn't know how high energy Catahoulas were before I got him. Probably Labradoodles, man. Oof. Yeah, I mean, he took some training, but he's now one of the best dogs in the whole world. And then Gracie is also literally sent from heaven. I mm. rescued her off the street in Fayetteville uh, when I was going to co college there. She is a full blue pit, and she's now 10. Mm -hmm. So I have two kitties, wow. and they are my babies. They sleep in bed with me every night. <laughs> They awesome. are actual humans. That's how, hey, there's nothing wrong with yeah. that. I um, one of my f my best friends, John. We went to college together in the same fraternity, right, Southeastern. He uh, his dad passed. Um, I went to his his funeral a few months back, and his dad always called him baby. <laughs> so there's oh, nothing yeah. wrong with calling that. No, they're, that. Babies. <laughs> they're babies. They're babies. <laughs> All right, so let's go to a fun question here. What is something funny or unique about you that no one would know that would be cool to tell them? I knew you were going to ask this. I sent the run sheet like a I month know, ago. I <laughs> know, and I really, like, I am such an open book. Everyone knows everything about me. I don't, I can't think of anything. Okay, well, I got something for you. I'm ADHD, which is not a joke. It's serious. My wife and I spent several 
a lot of do re mi for the boys to, you know, for me to help me understand. And the point is, I understand it, how it works. And I was obsessed with walking my dog because I don't want to poop in the house. Fair. <laughs> uh, my Havanese used to eat it, but now it doesn't do that anymore. Ew, disgusting. I know, I know. You know what? You talked about that on the Twisted Pickle episode. Yeah. And I had to just skip. See? I'm not that weird. <laughs> anyway. What's, what's something funny? Is something funny? Read you something, Brooke? Okay. Uh, I mean, I uh, think, yeah, I I don't know. I'd have to, like, really, I don't, I can't think of anything. I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to have you back on at some point in time, so you better have some good stuff. All right. You're, yeah, that's fair. All right. Well, you know, this is a, this is about it. I mean, we, we're going to wrap up here. I, I'd love to have you back on. Thanks. And, um, you know, it's, it's our show now. Like I always tell everybody, it's not my show. It's not his show. It's not your show. It's ours because you take the time to come on. And enjoy this lovely thing I've created here with the help of that young man. But um, it's it's yours. It's not just mine. And Thanks. so it's kind of a weird concept. But how would people get in touch with you to possibly work? Maybe yeah. sponsor some stuff? Yeah. How would they get in touch with you? Yes. Our Instagram is just at Dallas Pickleball. Yep, I followed it. We snagged it before anybody else did. <laughs> and then our website is dallaspickleball.club. Yeah. I have an email, taylor at dallaspickleball.club. You can text me. I think my phone number is attached is. somewhere. Um, yeah, text me, down. call me. We have fall league registration open Very until important. September 22nd. Yeah. We have a mixer event coming up on the 18th. Where's that at? What time? What That's is at Hackberry. That is a... Hackberry's home for everything, though. Is that right? Uh, for this league. Just this league. And okay. so the preseason mixer is at Hackberry, and that's really to get people to find their teammates, play on the courts where they're going to be playing the games, just get used to the facility. Mm -hmm. And so that is a free event, and that is from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. We are always looking for sponsors. We have some awesome ones already, but yes, Who are definitely. They? Give us some sponsors. We work with Proper a lot. Um, Head and Heart Chiropractic has been amazing. If you need a good chiropractor there in Dallas, uh, Dr. KJ, he plays pickleball. Um we had Alani New at a couple events, <laughs> and we're working on hopefully having them at more. Patron Tequila sponsored us. Um, man, we've had so yeah. many. Dallas Fitness Ambassadors has been great to work with. Yeah. They do tons of events all over the DFW area. Yeah, we've been really Crazy. lucky, honestly. Well, I'm Curtis, and I can be Reese Curtis at ReeseBracketSports.com or Reese Bracket Sports. Uh, it's, it's on the World Wide Web. Uh, and if you have any questions or want to sponsor or want to come on the show or maybe see if you can get your product on here or talk about some things, we would love to hear from you. Uh, 972-896-1533. That's really about it. Um, anything else you got to say there, Taylor? Thanks for having me. This was fun. Whatever. <laughs> Coming through. What do you say? Woo-hoo. What do you say? Woo.